Good evening, or morning, or whatever. Uh, welcome back to another reaction video. This is... What is this? I should probably prepare for these before I start recording. Uh, Don Rickles on The Wait Wait Show with Craig Ferguson. If you don't know Don Rickles, um, today's day, he's pretty offensive if you're not ready for it and you don't understand the context. But uh, Don Rickles is... Um, a person who makes fun of everybody equally, and it's always placed on stereotypes and stuff like that, but he doesn't, it's not actual his, it's not his actual beliefs, okay? I f feel weird having to explain that, but in 2021, I feel like I have to. <laughs> um, so this will be interesting. Let's go ahead and watch it. Leave a like on the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a recommendation down below. Let's get it. R.I.P. Don. R.I.P. Don Rickles, everybody! <laughs> intro? I don't need intros. Oh my god, this is old. This is like maybe first or second season. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I thank you, audience. I thank you so much. And I must get this off my chest. Yes, go on. Go to a dentist. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> when did you get so aggressive? What I, the hell's I, wrong I, with we you? Do when we first you. met, it was, hello, Mr. Rickles, how are you? Now it's, what the hell's wrong? Like an equal, you're talking to me, for crying out He became an American citizen. He thinks he can hang out with me, for crying out loud. I didn't quite say that. And I, they said, your papers, I want to be American. All right. Okay, Scotsman, go in the back and clean up the room. Hey, no, come on. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, you know what? Gee, you know, on television, it looks like you got a massive audience. You got six Jews and three Italians. That's it. <laughs> oh, yeah, one, and one Irish guy sitting there going. <laughs> oh, there's a black brother. Oh, yeah. bless you. <laughs> Is it a holiday? <laughs> God bless you, baby. The dog, dog, dog. I'm talking to the I'm black right man, here, huh? Mr. Right here. This guy's important. They get moody. There's no baseball. I had nice stuff. Oh <laughs> it's a different world, though. Okay. All right, listen. I'll tell you what I'm looking at right here. Why did you... Well, okay. this is important. I want you to pay attention. I'm judge. I'm a I, 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 Look, I'm trying to tell you. you. I'm looking at this. This is the dates that you're playing coming up, right? February 27th, the King Center in Melbourne, Florida, right? March 2nd and 3rd, uh, the Seminole, is that how you say it? Seminole Hard Rock Hotel in Hollywood, Florida. March 20th and 23rd, the Orleans Casino in Las Vegas. And should you really be working? You've probably got a lot of money by now. Why are you working so much? Because I'm Jewish and my wife needs jewelry. Well... <laughs> You must have money by now. You can't be going How out. How do you know what I have money? A Scotsman asking about money. I, I, I think about no, money. No, I. He's uh, he's called Mr. Warmth, and it's kind of like a tongue-in-cheek thing where he plays to everyone's like ethnic stereotypes. <laughs> so he's Mr. Warmth, aka his professional shtick is that he's not. I love the work as you do, Greg. Right, right, right. Craig, Greg, I always call you Greg. You yeah, know. I know. It's... Does it matter on the sign? Nobody cares. It is fair. It's part of your job. You show up because it's a long line. There's a line. Let's get that line. Anyway. They think it's Bob Barker. I'll tell you this. It's his suit. <laughs> it's his suit. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. One for the sky. All right, guys. <laughs> Anyway, no, I, I enjoy the stage, and, uh, you know, as you know, the traveling is always a little bit annoying, but I take jets. What do you, what do you take, bus? Yeah, I take the bus, yeah. <laughs> but I enjoy the stage. What do you I take? What do you, 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 you take jets? How long have you had that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, Do you all get that? When they get rich, they all go, When I first met him, it was, hello, Don, how are you? Now it's, I, 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 I. You know, you, 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 really, you really have come after me this time. I don't really understand you why. Know why. You know why? Like because you became an American citizen. Well, well, and I voted against it. Well, I, I voted against it. <laughs> I, I voted against it. 
You came up against, and I said to immigration, don't let this guy get over the fence. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were Mexican. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got nothing against the Mexican people. I love them. I eat the tacos and go, ooh, ooh. Anyway, I'll tell you this. <laughs> Is this too fast for you? No, I'll oh, keep it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? You're a great host. <laughs> no, you're beautiful. And that's good. It's amazing to see someone that old be that sharp and like fast <laughs> you know what greg we yes. go back a long time peter the sally by the way this video is two hours long i'm not reacting to a two hour long long video so i'm gonna like jump ahead and skip around he's the first guy that introduced us he was that's right and peter yeah. the sally uh was johnny carson's producer rest his soul i miss johnny mm -hmm. and no offense to you but he was great yeah yeah <laughs> i know i know anyway, uh, no, no, I, that's that's fair no no you, no no it's you're, fair, you're, fair. It's no fair. no that, that's that's a little below the belt but who cares no yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> well, look at your notes. No, Say no, something. No, no, I'm waiting for you to stop so I can find out why you actually are out working all the time. And you said that you take jets. Do you have a private jet? That's what I was going to ask. Yes. I put wings on my ass and fly. Right. <laughs> you something. Can I really genuinely ask you a question? Certainly. Will you, will you just allow me that once? Okay. All don't right. bet. Don't bet. No, well, I'm just saying. <laughs> when you come to the show, which is always a great pleasure for Thank me, you. as you know. Thank you. I always... <laughs> I'm always amazed at the, the size of the posse that you bring. You bring a lot of people with you. He got a laugh for saying thank you. <laughs> that tells you how in the palm of his hand he has this audience. A lot of people. A posse. It's, a, it's an American word. Look it up. Posse. <laughs> I'm catching it. I'm catching it. Coming for you. Yeah, I, <laughs> no, it's uh, you. Come no, I have a friend, Tony O, who's uh, my road manager. Paul Sheffern is my publicist. And my manager, Elliot Weissman, who's in Florida yeah. planting trees. Yeah, yeah. I... <laughs> But, you, but John Stamos is always with you. John Stamos is a great Greek that follows me around going, oopa, oopa, and I give him a cookie and he goes away. <laughs> John and I met many years ago, and he comes to Vegas, not like you, but before, before you, and came to about 12 shows in a row, what have you. And uh, he lost his dad, rest his soul. And he always had a thing about me that I I'm, uh, represent his father's image. And, uh, right. and I was very sweet of him. And I, and I love John, and he's great. And he's 44 years old, and he looks around for 12 year old goes, got a minute? Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's oh, uncool. Shit, it's not, he's, it's, 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 he's, he's not looking for girls. <laughs> anyway, so when you get oh older, this happens. <laughs> The other one just his legs dead. This. All right, that's enough. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Don Rickles, everybody. Tells a story of of how tough a life a comedian can have and how joyous it can be. And for you young people, it's it's really something I I think you'll enjoy because it it tells the personal part of your life and it tells the fun part of your life. And as I hold this in my hand, I want to thank the Academy. I <laughs> thank you. Give me the darn thing. Well, you, got all, you got all these different people there. Why, I, why, why am I not in this lineup? You're like everybody else there. Because you're every... not big enough. Why, come on! <laughs> no, you're, you're big enough, but I, I, I wanted to keep it funny and happy, you know? <laughs> you stop doing it, you break it, for crying out loud. <laughs> Don't worry, that, this is the American stop one. Stop banging, it's not an x-ray, it's, it's a show, for crying out loud. Good one, oh, too. Yeah. God bless you, kid, keep going. <laughs> <sighs> What about the uh, the Orleans? You go to the Orleans. I yeah, love that room hotel, in the Orleans. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, I, I mean, they've got a bowling alley, you know. <laughs> I'm not Polish. Anyway, uh, <laughs> nothing. For, no, I, Polish people are great, but they they're big in bowling. Jews don't bowl. We own the alley. Anyway, uh, <laughs> hey, I laughed at your crap. You're gonna start laughing. Right. Right. Hey, hey, hold on. Oh. oh, oh. Anyway, so... <laughs> why, why do you sit like that? Are you, are you, do you think I'm a dentist? Why do you... Do you want me to sit next to you? you like me no, to sit no, 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 no. No, no, I'm sitting next to you. I I've had enough of No, no, no. Yeah, I'm sitting next to you. There you go. I don't want you. I don't want you. Hey. Those are great boots. Well, thank you. Those are great boots. You now, that, that right there, that's your oh, Austin Powers boots These aren't bad. Right these are a little right gay, there. but they're not bad. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, these are great. These they are. are they're Your shoes are smart. Do you, are you happy with those? They, what is this, a shoe show? We're doing a regular show here. Right? No, no, we're getting a little more daytimey now. I'm asking you about... Hey, this is great. It's, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I like it. Yeah, yeah we're, on, we're on American Airlines. More yeah, peanuts? Yeah. More peanuts. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, you go, you'll go to Germany around the world, right, Scotland? Yeah. I, yeah. I was just on the airline now, and the girl came up and said, Sir, would you care for another round of peanuts? And it's 78 hours, and you get peanuts, you know. <laughs> and I love when, when, when they come, oh, this is the captain. You, you notice, you can never hear, because I just came from uh, Connecticut, I was up in Foxwoods, and we had a long, from Boston, it's a long ride back, you know. You people, you get out of the house at all, you people? No, no, anyway. no. no, no. <laughs> so when you come back, it's a long trip. Well, but I from, love when, from Foxwoods in Connecticut to Boston, that's like two hours. No, no, don't be a smart ass. Oh. Be a... I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Yeah. Again, you're yelling. Will you stop oh, yelling? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm so, no, so you come back and the pilot gets on, you know, like you're maybe two hours from Boston out, and you hear, this is the captain speaking. Well, I'm just going to see, and it's hot, 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 right? And you know, I'm not a very, very seat, the seat belt, and I'm buying, yeah, and hot, 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 crash. Anyway, so, uh, I was just thinking that. It's a long, long ride. No, how long, you, the, the, the gentleman with the yellow shirt, how long are you married? What? Ten years. Do you have to do this? Ten years? You got a little spring on your ass that makes you do that? Ten years? Ten years. God bless you. Third wife? Second wife. Second. Yeah, not bad, not bad. You were only one off. Oh, uh, you're, you're, you're very stunning. You, you look like you're very happy. I could never go more than one marriage. That's a fact. Anything more than one, I just think, what am I doing here? What am I doing with my life? Anyway, uh, you, know, you know when you talk to these people, we have to pay them. Well, with the money you make, you'll get over yeah, it. Yeah, I, don't make any, I, don't I make spoke any to money. Peter LaSalle, your producer, who said to me, it's a little out of line what he makes. You know, you, you do it, you know, you got to think of it. You yeah. were doing comedy sketches on other television shows, yeah. and today you're a big star, you're making a lot of money, you got married. Who are you, you be talking to? Who are you finished? Let me finish. Oh, you got a, big house, got a big house in Malibu. A big house in That's Malibu. right. I met your son who loves to do magic. Oh, my, yeah, my son, yeah, yeah. Your son is like, what, 10, 11? Eight. Eight. I'm yeah. not a kidnapper, you can tell me the truth. No, no, I'm telling you, he's eight. Eight, eight he's, he's adorable, and he does magic. He right, comes eight. over here at a dinner party, which we were at, That's and he said, right. what's his name again? Milo. Right! Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> He got it right! Set him again! Anyway, move up two steps, you got it right. Anyway, so, I'm really so, glad I remembered so, it, actually. And, and the kid's right. adorable. <laughs> don't, when I'm talking, don't Okay, do I'm sorry. No. <laughs> this guy here in the front's great. He's sitting like this the whole show. <laughs> the hell are you, a mannequin? Will you, will you stop talking to We have to pay them. I told you we have to pay don't them. Don't get over it. The, the whole front row. These guys are great. They, they really dressed up for the show. They're, yeah. sitting there, they're sitting there in their underwear, for crying out loud. <laughs> So, so his son, his son, adorable kid, he comes up and says, Mr. Rickles, want to see some magic? And, and I'm having a couple of vodkas, and I'm not in the mood for no eight-year-old kid pulling on my pants to do magic, you know. And he goes, watch this, Mr. Rickles. Disappear. And of course, he's an eight-year-old kid, and you go, so, so where's the magic? That, watch this again, Mr. Rickles. Disappear. So I slapped him in the face, and he went away. For <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a joke. He's, that's, ador he's adorable, yeah. but he loves to do magic. Tell him, I, tell him I talked about him, okay? Yeah, well, sure. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I loved it there, too. They were great to us. The theatre, yeah. Yeah, and did, did, you, did you have a look around the town of Austin? Oh, yeah, yeah. you know. A lot of guys come up to me and went, Austin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, and, and they didn't even have a saddle on them. It was one of those. Right, 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 right. Hey, lady, this is what you're going to hear. It's free. <laughs> The woman with the guy that's walking the guy that was sledging. I know, I saw it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Billy Graham will come in in a minute and help your hand to get better, you know. You know, I, I think of that because I, I, my biggest thrill in life, really, and I think, I'll ask you that same question. Okay. My biggest thrill in my career to, up to date was being in Washington, D.C. at the Kennedy Center for Ronald Reagan, rest his soul, and Frank Sinatra had me uh, on the show, and this is the truth, this is the truth. And they, Frank called me in Hawaii, I was in Hawaii. Right. He says, Don, you're gonna be on the inaugural for Ronald Reagan. I said, Frank, you're kidding? Just pack your bags, do what I tell you, you're gonna be there. Yeah. Frank goes to Ronald Reagan's cabinet, and says, we're gonna have Rickles on. No, no, what are you, crazy? We're gonna have Rickles. <laughs> no, no, he says, you're gonna have Rickles. No, no, and he said, God rest his soul, he said, if you don't have Rickles, you don't have me. Oh. That's, that's the truth, that's how it started out. And then I got to Washington and had the Marine Guard and all that fancy stuff. I actually watched his uh, inauguration show. 
It's really good. Nothing. And they said, well, what is Rickles going to do? People are he laughing. Said, Whatever he wants. <laughs> and I've, I've never been off the color of the road. I really haven't. I, if you see me in person, you'll realize. I, I say a couple of things, but nothing, you know, the young kids today open with them. Yeah, that's you know, true, yeah. And, hey, I don't put it down. If the people laugh and show up for them, more power to them. But I'm getting a little pissed off. <laughs> anyway, uh... No, not really, not really. They're, they're wonderful young comedians, and I'm happy for them. Oh, I don't like them. Well, <laughs> well, any guy that drinks out no, of a thing no, like that, no, how are you going to like anybody? I, I'm telling you, the young comedians with the, hey, have you ever noticed how some things are like other things? No, I'm 47, I've been married three times. I never noticed how some things are like other things. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, hey, have you ever noticed? And plenty son of a bitch. Yeah, plenty yeah. son of a bitch. <laughs> anyway, so you're at the inauguration, it's Ronald Reagan. Yeah, Ronald Reagan, Reagan, right, thank you. And so we're at the inauguration, and I get up there, and uh, and bless me, I did Rickles as Rickles does, and I made fun of the president, and, I, he, and Ronald Reagan was a great man. He really was, forgetting your politics, but he was a great man. And I don't say that sarcastically, I mean, really, whatever you believe in. You know, today, it's like today, Obama, God bless me, he's a new president, everybody's happy. But you go to parties here in L.A., and if, if you like George Bush or if you didn't like George Bush, in my day you said, well, not my cup of tea, or it wasn't my kind of guy. Today you say at a party, you say to me, Don, uh, you know, uh, oh, President Obama, I didn't like the speech you made Friday. Uh, Don, uh, President Obama, I didn't like... What are you, crazy? What do you mean you didn't like Friday? What are you, nuts? What are you, nuts? Obama's the greatest! What are you, crazy? That is insane! That is so accurate to the current climate where you're either all in or you're out you're kicked out <laughs> I can't, what year is this from but it's i mean god it still hasn't gotten better it's true it's absolutely true so we're out of time i gave you the whole damn show and we're, we still don't have enough time <laughs> you're gonna have to come back again and end oh, the story because we're, yeah. we're out we can't smell anything well, so what that's good news for a guy like me <laughs> Put her in an institution and forget about her. Forget about her. <laughs> Can't smell. Look at the way this conversation's going. I went out some she stinks, which is a stupid joke to say. And you call her about how she smells. I'm not here to discuss your wife's high hygiene. I'm here to discuss why you're still on the air. <laughs> Well, it's clearly an oversight. Things go a no. little late at night. Yeah, by, the way, by the way, you're doing so well. I'm very happy for you. I really mean that. Isn't he? He's, he's really good. See, you always you do the old zigzag there. You do that, 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 and then you go like that. Hey, did you ever, did you ever in your life work with a partner? Did you ever have a, like a, a buddy or a sidekick or something you did your act with? No, somebody to, you know, walk around behind me and check if somebody trying to pick me off or something like that. But, yeah. No, no, I've always been alone because I'm, greatness doesn't need a partner. <laughs> That's what I try. I, I, just, I just sit and I take a shower and, a, and the water runs up. I go, <laughs> my God, who am I? Oh. The other equipment just goes, uh, uh. <laughs> when you're married 46 years, the wife says, I'm in love, and I say, I am too. Give me a minute, I gotta go in the other room and think about it. Anyway, uh, 46 years married, you, you should That's see. Amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. You, you'll see her out on Hollywood Boulevard. Psst, sailor. Anyway, uh... I kid about her being a hooker and all that stuff, but she's... <laughs> she's not, I know your wife's a very dignified and classy woman. I... Uh, you don't know when you're alone, boy. You don't know when Yeah. You're alone. When she does that bathrobe trick, forget about it. <laughs> she no. does the bathrobe trick? Why are you getting horny? What's the matter with you? You told me about the bathrobe no, trick. No, we got class. 46... Uh, do you make love often? <laughs> ah! You see? I give him a little sex and the man, he went to... You wet your pants just then, didn't you? <laughs> I was going to say, on my own or with somebody else. That's all I was going to ask. <coughs> now, sex is, see, you young people remember, sex is beautiful, but the basis is to be a friend and to care about each other and to wake up in the morning, and take a pop, but then forget about it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Don Rickles spitting facts. Spitting facts. It's got to be built on friendship. But don't base your whole life on boom, 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 you know. I haven't, and that's why this leg don't work. Yeah, that's called lust, and it doesn't work out. <laughs> do you mind if we take a commercial break? Hey, it's your show. Do whatever you want. All right, we'll take a commercial break. We'll be right back with Don. Like, I think I'm in love. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, anyone gives me five bucks, I'm interested. Do you know what I'm saying? He's got a lovely wife. And, and the place, I, I, with steps, I, I, steps put me away, you know. As you get older, steps bother you. My wife says, stop talking about AIDS. Stop it, stop it, stop it. You know, because she figures if I go, <laughs> you know, then she's got to give up the house and work the streets, you know. <laughs> No, God, that's not funny. No, you know, no, you I, shouldn't I, talk yeah. about death, you know. I don't feel good. <laughs> no, I feel fine. But yeah, yeah, you're right. Get up. older and never feel, never feel, as you're all young people predominantly, as they look in the audience, always, and you know that too. Well, always remember, as long as this working good, you've got, you've got beyond life, is this works. Well, well, well yeah, there is that. There's... There's a few other areas you want to keep going as well. well. But, yeah. I'm just well, saying. No, you're, you're talking about popping a wife. Don't bring no. that up. What the hell? I, look, I do a classy show here, mister. That's not the kind of talk that we expect. Why not? It's, it's normal. Not with you. You walk onto your rope, stand by the toilet, and go, ah! Anyway. <laughs> Normally. Yeah, all right. All right. She lays on the bed and I go, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, when you're married, you know, you're married, how long are you married now? Uh, three years. Ah, good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, three. What the hell? Why, I'm not putting it down. Okay. I think it's wonderful. Well, I met your wife. She's great. She's nice. By the way, uh, the check didn't come. Sorry, man. I'll get it. <laughs> I'm talking about something else, but we won't go into that. Anyway, but he, <laughs> he, he he's married a lovely wife. The whole secret, and I tell you that, 46 years married. Now, I'm telling you, 46, this is beautiful, you know. That's great. No, no, ha, ha, ha. But if you're going to base a whole marriage on, you got trouble. You got to do what I do. Take your mind off it and then go. I'll be right back with Don Reckles, the good news. What? I didn't just get a colonoscopy. I also got the endoscope. It went in the other way, too. Yeah. I had the full, I had the full thing. Yeah, well, you know, the way you drank, you should be dead. Yeah. <laughs> I read your book. I know what you did. Really? You read, you read my book? What is this? I gotta repeat everything I say? <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm just, I'm just, I, 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 I read my book. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm touched. I'm moved that well, you sure read I read your book. That's why I'm on here, because I know it's over. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, he had a tough life. He did. He did. He came to America, yeah. schmackled a couple of Jewish people, and you skyrocketed. Anyway. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What does schmackle mean? I'm not, I'm not mishpucha. Well, what is the, what is, what is... You better start learning, otherwise they're going to move the desk. <laughs> 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 schmackle means, you know, make a fuss over, make a fuss, you know. Yeah. That's it. The guy in the yellow shirt, you, in, the, in the green shirt, you were very good, sir. Yeah, he was. He's pretty good. good yeah, sir. Yeah. Where are you from again? Charlotte. Charlotte, yeah. yeah. Seemed to be a lot of fun. <laughs> no, I, like think, I think a, a lot of his sense of fun is in the shirt, no, to be fair. He's a charming gentleman. I make fun of you because, you know, if New Year's Eve came around and it was you and I in the room, I'd be depressed. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a nice gentleman. Good luck. Is that the wife? Ooh. I'll tell you this. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. You're a pretty woman. Hey, oh, says you can't do that. No, she understands. God. How long are you married? 37 years. Well, is he a mute? Yep. <laughs> 37 years. God bless you. I'm married 47. Jewish boy. Just... Yeah. Hey, hey. Why did they applaud? You never saw her. Hey, hey. You Why would you talk to me? I don't see you for because ages. Because I'm going no place with you. For well, that. come on. Come and talk to me. You talk to everyone. You right, talk wanna, to the guy in the green shirt. I, um, right, I got to level with you. You're married now a long time. I was at your house. I was at his house once. You have a new house now. Yeah, I got a new house. Yeah, and uh, you don't have to climb the stairs to get in. No, anymore. and uh, 48 steps. It's called Heart Attack City. His house. <laughs> when I went the, the first time, and and you still polishing the nails like you do? Yeah, I still polish my it nails. Put, yeah. puts nail polish on the feet. You know? <laughs> no, no, I'm not making this up. And that's why I did what you did. I went. <laughs> yeah. You know why I do that? Because I'm not your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> No, I do. I, 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 don't you polish your toenails? No. When you find me skipping in the park, you'll know. <laughs> I don't know. I like, I like seeing my feet looking pretty. Yeah, I, I know. Pretty I, know. Feet. I never suspected you for that, you know. Well, having pretty feet? No. <laughs> <laughs>
No, you know, you, you had a tough life. You really did. Nobody did. talks about that. But God bless you. You came along. I'm, I'm a serious now. You came a long well, way. You, you didn't come from, you know, you didn't come from, your background was never, you know, like in, in, in England now. Hell, mommy, daddy's home. You know, yeah, no, never, I no, that's the way they do it all the time. You know, mommy, the war's on. Daddy, the war's on. <laughs> mommy, the fighter plane is going down. <laughs> See? Guys in the army, especially if they were Jewish, going, fire, fire, what, fire, what? I got a gun, I'm going home. <laughs> that was one of my biggest jokes. Yeah, yeah. You see, no, I'm, I'm just, are you Hawaiian? You're very pretty. Are you Hawaiian? No, when I go like this, what, your bus bother you? <laughs> are you Hawaiian? I'm not. What, what is your background? What is you? I'm mixed. You're mixed. Your father was a sailor? <laughs> mixed. <laughs> Let her finish. Well, gee, I, I, <laughs> I, I would let her finish, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy honey. Hey. He, by the way, she is definitely a attractive. very beautiful lady. Very she really beautiful is. Woman. God bless her. She, yeah. she paints her toenails, too. You don't seem to have a problem with her doing it. <laughs> Shut up. All right. <laughs> hey, well, wait a minute. I'm not <sighs> through with you. I want to, one other thing. You said you're Mexican. <laughs> no, mixed. Mixed. Mix, mix, mix. <laughs> And, and, and where do you live? <laughs> you, oh, you, oh, you are Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Don's giving him props on that one. <laughs> See, I go, I'm getting it now. I'm yeah. getting it now. Yeah. I make kids about a kid about Jewish, kid about Mexican, kid about black. You kid about kid about everything in life. That's what it is today. You you said this. You said that. You got to be able to be honest and not be a mean spirited or unkind. I say from my heart, really. I don't like you. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> That's his whole stick, is that he rips on people and mercilessly ripped on people. But it was never with ill intent, because he did it to everybody. So if you just focused on one group or one person or one whatever, then you could be like, well, this is a little weird. But if he just machine gun sprayed the insults, it wasn't that bad. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Thanks for the recommendation on that. Be sure to leave a recommendation down in the comments below. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. And let's move on. I'll see you in the next one. I almost said let's get into it. Like I didn't just watch that video with you. Bye-bye. <laughs>